Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Thanks for starting your week with us after a big weekend for LSU football with a scrimmage Saturday and media day Sunday. We'll take you through highlights of both on today's show, starting with quarterback Brandon Harris. He said his expectations for his sophomore season are, quote, very, very high, with the starting job his to grasp. I think when Coach Miles put a guy out there on the field, you know, regardless of whoever it is, what your classification is, uh, you're expected to play, you're expected to play at a high level. I think our fans come and watch games and they don't care what, what your classification is. You know, Coach Miles puts you on the field, they expect you to perform. Uh, I didn't do that uh, very well last year. Um, you know, I take it with a grain of salt, worked hard this offseason, improved my footwork accuracy, you know, stayed in the film room, and I like where I'm at right now. Now, something else Harris said that's huge is he's not looking for a home run ball every play. That checking down to running backs is far from a bad thing. Now, Les Miles confirmed Harris got more first team snaps at the scrimmage, which was closed to media. Here's how Miles compared Harris's style to junior Anthony Jennings. I think there's more similarities than there are differences. Uh, I would not uh, hesitate to uh, make a call if there was a real advantage to one over the other in a situation. Um, but uh, again, I, I think they're both competing, you know, you know, towards that, uh, you know, that, that for, for that first game. And I, again, I think that they're they're very similar. And uh, I think Brandon obviously is a little bit more. Uh, you know, explosive, but uh, Anthony's, you know, a little bit more veteran, so. Now, some pretty fundamental differences right there, if you ask me, but the whole offense had coordinator Cam Cameron all smiles Sunday, confident in its urgency and balance. Now, like we've said on the show, maybe they can even spread the ball around more as Cameron opens up the playbook. I know tight ends are excited about that. Now this week, we'll also check in with LSU basketball during their Australian adventure. See you Tuesday.